Come. That's what God says. Come. When God spoke to Noah, when he was going to save his family in the ark, and not Tennessee, God said to Noah, come. There is an invitation by God to lost sinners. Come now, let us, God and you, reason together, though your sins be as scarlet, they shall be white as snow. God is not willing that any should perish. That God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believeth in him should not perish but have everlasting life that he that has the son Jesus hath everlasting life he that has not the son Jesus shall not see life but the wrath of God hell abideth upon him that whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. For with the heart man believeth unto righteousness. With the mouth confession is made unto salvation. The wages of sin is death, for all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. There is none righteous. But the gift of God's eternal life through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Not of works, least any man boast. What shall I do to be saved? Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ, and thou shalt be saved. For by grace are you saved through faith. Come unto me, all ye that labor. Jesus said, He is the water of life. He's the bread of God. Are you afraid of the Delta virus? I'm not, because I have the Alpha and the Omega. The Alpha and the Omega overpowers the Delta. And if I get Delta and I die, I'll be absent from the body, present with the Lord, precious in the sight of the God, of the Lord, at the death of his saints. Your eternal life rests upon what you do with Jesus. If you reject Jesus Christ, he'll reject you. And you gotta be you gotta be forewarned because Paul tells us there's another Jesus. There's a Catholic Jesus. There's a, a, a Jehovah Witness Jesus. There's a Mormon Jesus. There's even a Muslim Jesus. There's a worldly Jesus. There's a Baptist Jesus. He's the one at the chicken joint. He'll give you chicken, but he won't give you salvation. But then there's the Jesus, the Alpha, and the Omega, the I Am. The Jehovah saves. That was born of a virgin. 
of the tribe of Judah. You know, it's so funny. I was talking to a Christian the other day about Jesus. Your pictures of Jesus are not right. They're not true. They are taken after Italian men. She, who, who, who would want to draw a picture of Italian men to be Jesus? I wonder who. Give him the boot. You know, the Bible says that Jesus is Jewish. And Jesus is Jewish according to the scripture. You know that Jesus would be short with a big nose. Jewish people are short and they got big noses. That would be Jesus. And brown skin. Not white. He's not colored like a church I came from in Connecticut where all the apostles and Jesus were colored. That's not Bible. He's Jewish with a Jewish mother and no Jewish father, the virgin birth. He's short and probably has a big nose. And the Bible says there's no beauty that the world would desire him. Oh, that's Jesus? Yeah. You wouldn't put him on the front cover of a magazine, the real Jesus. You would not be at the checkout and see the real picture of Jesus on those magazines. You see the Italian. Old Papa John. And his spaghetti and meatballs. And his pizza pie in the sky. But that's not Jesus. Jesus who was born in a manger in Bethlehem. Where there's no room at the end. I said there was no room at the end. And yet, what did it, we'll keep a light on for you. You didn't keep a light on for Jesus, the light of the world. You dress Mary up in blue and purple, and she couldn't even afford a hotel. Something wrong. Mary was a sinner. She brought two turtle doves or pigeons, either or. According to Leviticus 12, that was a sin offering. The Catholic Church says Mary was without sin. Mary says in the scripture she was a sinner. Somebody's wrong. It's not the Bible. You go tell the Council of Trent, go jump in the lake. Oh, pious. <laughs> He'll face Jesus Christ one day. Bow down before to me and declare that I am the Lord. Jesus Christ, thou art the Lord. Eight days he was taken to the temple. He was circumcised with Anna and Simeon there. Witnessed the whole thing. Approximately 30 years old, Jesus came to John the Baptist and was baptized in the River Jordan. At the same location that Joshua and the nation of Israel crossed. Because John the Baptist said, with these rocks I could raise up the family of Abraham. That rock, there are 12 of them. Jesus came out of the water. The Holy Spirit came down like a dove, not a dove. Dum dum. You got to read the Bible. As a dove, not a dove. And then he was taken in the wilderness in 40 days and 40 nights with no food. And he didn't die. And then the devil came along to tempt him. You imagine Satan walking up to Jesus, if thou be the Son of God. And you think that Satan ain't going to deal with you? There are Christians think, well, you know, old smutty face, oh, no, you better be careful. I know a man did that and the devil fried him.
And then Jesus began his ministry, about 30 years old, preaching, repent, for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. The first words of his public ministry was repent. Didn't say come to church. He didn't have VBS signs. He went around and sent his disciples, repent of your sins. John the Baptist preached, repent of your sins. There are churches today in the world, you can enjoy your lavish, sinful life, and God will bless you. God wouldn't bless you if you sneezed. And the religious people of Jesus' time, the Pharisees, the Sadducees, and the scribes, they hated Jesus. They hated Jesus as much as you hate me. Because you know what they did with Jesus? They tried to trick him up. They tried to catch him at his words. Almost how you try to call the police on me. And Jesus wins each and every time. You got these signs about, oh, oh, what the preacher's supposed to do at the farmer's market. But Jesus said, don't, those are not lawful. They're not right. They don't even obey their own rule. No bicycles. Uh, I see bicycles all the time. Dogs must be unleashed. I've seen plenty of dogs who weren't unleashed. You want the preacher to obey the rules that you don't obey. <laughs> I'll, I'll believe the rules of the nation and the King James Bible. So they hated Jesus so much. That they hired a man. For 30 pieces of silver. And said, go betray him. And he's like, okay. I'll give you the time and date and place. And then when they betrayed Jesus and took him to trial. Order in the court. Order in the court. And they got false witnesses against Jesus. And they got so many false witnesses against Jesus that the false witness did not agree with the false witness. That this false witness went against that false witness who went and not agree with that false witness that that false witness was a false witness. That's just... And they turned Jesus Christ over to Pilate. And they lied to Pilate on the charges. Pilate, the Roman government, in Herod, said four times, I find no fault in this man. I'll let him go. One time Paul said, I will scourge him and let him go. Why? He was innocent. Maybe if I beat the daylights out of him, the Jews will be happy and I'll let him go. And then Pilate said, I'm giving you the, bio, the, the gospel of Jesus in a nutshell. This is called a survey. A survey of a Bible book is when you give the nutshell of the book. I'm giving the nutshell of Jesus' life. Pilate said, hey, I got a man over here, Barnabas. Or Barabbas. Barabbas. Barabbas did what Donald Trump did. Insurrection and murdered somebody. That's what happened in Washington, D.C. at the Capitol. But forget about that. Here's a man who murdered somebody in an overthrow of the government. 
Boy, that's not current news today. And Bar and and Pilate took Barabbas, not Barnabas, Barabbas, up against Jesus. And Pilate said, I got him now, I got them now. All right, which one do you want free? Do you want the insurrection murderer? Or do you want Jesus to go free? And all the people said, the Republican, I mean, the Barabbas. We want Barabbas. That didn't work for Pilate too well. He said, well, what about this man called Jesus? What shall I do with Jesus? That's a question. Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and thou shalt be saved, Pilate. But, and the Jews said, crucify him. I believe they cried out three times, crucify him. And Pilate took his hands and washed them. He thought maybe that, that would relieve me. Water can't relieve your sins, Pilate. Now the blood of Jesus Christ. And we don't know what Pilate did afterwards, but. And the Jewish people said a stupid thing. His blood, Christ's blood, God's blood, Acts 20, 28 be upon us and our children that was stupid so Pilate turned Jesus over to the Roman centurions and they put the purple robe on him it wasn't his robe Catholic movie Catholics always get it wrong they put a purple, purple robe on him. They put a crown of thorns and smashed it on his head. And then they mocked him. Hail, king of the Jews. Hail, king. They were mocking him. And they spit upon him. They beat him. They cat a nine tail him. They pulled his beard. Jesus Christ was abused beyond all abuse. When the Bible describes the body of Jesus Christ, it was beyond recognition that it was human. God allowed mankind to beat the crap out of his son. It was for sin. God hates sin. And if my son is going to be the sin barrier, you better just beat him wickedly. No mercy when it comes to sin upon Jesus Christ. And you're going to reject Jesus? Expect mercy from God after all that Jesus suffered? And they took off the purple robe and put on his own raiment and went forth to Calvary, the place of the skull. I know what Jesus did. He laid his hands out and allowed them to nail his hands to the cross. And he allowed them to nail his feet. He said to Thomas, reach in thither with a finger in the scars of my wounds. They're still there this day, sinner. Jesus didn't get a plastic surgeon. He bears the scars of our sins all eternity. And he suffered and died according to the scriptures on that cross.
I've already told you the story about the dying thief that repented. And on the cross of Jesus, while suffering in agony before his death, the words of Jesus, it is finished. That's salvation. You cannot add anything to salvation. Don't add baptism. Don't add attendance. Don't add nothing. But Jesus Christ. And his righteousness. That the Bible says for salvation. Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ. And thou shalt be saved. Jesus Christ alone. Nothing else. For by grace are you saved through faith. It is not of ourselves. I can't give money more enough for salvation. I ain't got that much money. I ain't got no money. I can't buy it. Well, I'll become a member of a church. Which church? You know how many churches there are? Well, I'll be baptized. All right, fresh water or salt water? Tap water, spring water? Cold water, hot water? River water, ocean water, bay water? Sea water, Jordan River water? Dead sea water, which water? H2O. What water is that? I'll be good. What's good? Your good is not my good. And when I was in the prison ministry, there were a lot of good people in the prison ministry. And many of them said, oh, I don't deserve to be here. So I guess their good would not be your good. Because they're in prison. Or maybe you're not in prison because you haven't been caught. 